Rhynchocephalia is an order of lizard-like reptiles that includes only two living species of Tuatara, which only inhabit parts of New Zealand. Despite its current lack of diversity, the Rhynchocephalia at one time included a wide array of genera in several families, and represents a lineage stretching back to the Mesozoic era. Many of the niches occupied by lizards today were then held by sphenodontins. There were even several successful groups of aquatic sphenodontins such as Pleurosaurs and the bizarre Ankylosphenodon. Classification Sphenodons and the sister groups Quamata belong to the superorder Lepidosauria, the only surviving taxon within leopards or in Morpha. Squamates and Sphenodons both show caudal autotomy and have transverse cloacal slits. The origin of the Sphenodonts probably lies close to the split between the Lepidus or in Morpha and the Arcas or in Morpha. Though they resemble lizards, the similarity is superficial, because the group has several characteristics unique among reptiles. The typical lizard shape is very common for the early amniotes. The oldest known fossil of a reptile, the Hyalonymus, resembles a modern lizard. R. L. Ditmars, Lit. D. says, the two Atara resembles in forms and bodies modern lizards, which we might call iguanas. This resemblance is further intensified by a row of spines upon the back. It is dark olive the sides sprinkled with pale dots. The eye has a cat-like pupil. Large specimens are two or and a half feet long, while superficial resemblance might tend to group this reptile with lizards. Its skeleton and anatomy show it to belong to a different part of a technical classification. Duatara were originally classified as lizards in 1831 when the British Museum received a skull. The genus remained misclassified until 1867, when Albert Gunther of the British Museum Museum noted features similar to birds, turtles, and crocodiles. He proposed the order Rhynchocephalia for the Tuatara and its fossil relatives. Many disparately related species were subsequently added to the Rhynchocephalia, resulting in what taxonomists call a waste basket taxon. Williston proposed the Sphenodontia to include only Tuatara and their closest fossil relatives in 1925. Sphenodon is derived from the Greek for wedge and tooth. However, today Rhynchocephalia is used to include Gephrosaurus and Sphenodontia, while Sphenodontia excludes the former. The following is a cladogram of Rhynchocephalia after Rauhate al.